Hey, this is Microdose VR Alpha, and I'm using an HTC Vive in my right hand and left hand. I have the wands. You can see which hand is which by the color on the thumb pad, which if I were to move my thumbs lightly upon, I would change directions. This comes in handy when I'm moving. So let's say I want to move forward, bring my thumbs to the top of those pads, press down, and I'll start moving in that direction. Now holding down the trigger buttons shoots out these really cool particles. And they can be chosen from a menu of brush collections. There's actually two menus. So if I point my left wand at the right wand and find this menu on the left side, these two options are brush collections. Let's say I choose that one and see I've got different particles coming out. Now when I say collection, it means that you can toggle between different ones by pressing the grip button. See the butterflies. different options within those collections. Now, the question mark menu is a collection of procedural brushes that are pretty cool. And same thing here, you can toggle with the grip into different brushes. All right, if you wanna change your movement settings, can do that by pointing at the thumb pads and uh, supposed to be able to pause my music somehow. All right, here we go. Yeah, so these are movement settings. I'm not entirely sure what all they do, so I've just been sticking with this crosshairs here. This is the audio modulation menu in which you can choose between your system audio, system audio. LFOs and biofeedback hardware, such as Muse hardware, which I don't have. Um, so that does it for the right controller, the right wand. On the left wand, we have this feature over here, which is still in development. This is going to be implemented more in multiplayer mode, and these are energy levels. Right now, you're seeing that my heat energy on this red one has been building. Uh, there are two banks on each energy level. There's heat, flow, and mass. I'm not entirely sure how these are going to play into the game, but we'll find out soon in future versions. We've got our audio controls here where we can toggle between our different songs, volume, play and pause, and that's all any <clears throat> any music that's coming through Windows. Uh, a lot of people are using Spotify. I've used YouTube and Bandcamp so far. This is our uh, our environment setting. So right now, in the default environment, we can also enter into this environment here, which is interesting. And uh, the... Uh, other three choices or other two choices are the same as that default for now. So I'm assuming they're going to add more environments into this menu. And uh, that does it for the left wand. On the right wand or the right hand also, what you can do is grip. And you see this dial appears. This is our time dilation dial. So I'm holding the grip down. If I rotate my arm left and right, it changes the time dilation of these particles all right additionally on the left grip if i hold that grip and rotate left and right see how they're getting smaller and bigger this is the atlas or the world scale it also scales the pointers so see how it's getting closer and smaller and right here oops i went all the way down that was too small there we go. See how small that gets? Little tiny frogs. 
All right, so you're going to want to scale it up, though, when you're using your menus so that you can uh, access them easier. Looks like my uh, heat has built up to the maximum, and I'm not really sure if I can do anything with it. Hmm. You started pulsing more when I did that. <coughs> Interesting. All right, so if I want to take a screenshot, I can hold the grips down on both controllers and press the right shoulder button, which is the button that's just above the trackpad on the Vive. Did you see how it turned black for a moment there? Let's try this again. So, it's a little tricky. There we go. So that took a screenshot, and what it did was save a two versions. One is a cropped like HD image of what I'm seeing head-on through the headset, and the other is a full equo rectangular uh, 360 photo or 360 image in 8K resolution of the entire environment. So that can be really neat and fun to play with. We've also got another feature here where if you point these directly at each other and pull both triggers, and it can be hard to get it to work for some reason. Right now it's not as sensitive as maybe it could be. Um, usually this takes me a few tries. Oh, did you see it go? So this is ideally going to enter... I don't know if they have to be like perfectly lined up or what, but all right. Just imagine that what's happening is these wands are disappearing when I do that. That's how you enter VJ mode. And the purpose for that is that when you're VJing or projecting or streaming that you don't see these wands bouncing around in the video feed. I'll try one more time. And still not. Oh. It's it's a little finicky right now, so that may be something they're gonna work on in a uh, hot fix on this alpha. <coughs> so that about covers everything that you can do with the controllers. There are some keyboard shortcuts actually as well. Um, toggling between the uh what's it called the color grading of these particles you can press zero through nine number keys and change the way the colors look i haven't played with it much but i understand you can go from black and white to a variety of color options with these and there are as well some other keyboard shortcuts. I've heard that the enter key takes a screenshot. And I've also heard that pressing C and G toggles between VJ mode and regular mode. Try it one last time. Uh, VJ mode is not wanting to happen for me this time. Oh, until now. So here we go. You can see this um, mode where there are no wands in view. And so that can come in really handy. Although when you want to change your brush collection, you might want to come out of that VJ mode, at least for the time being. Come on. And go back to your collections to change it. There you have it, Microdose VR. This is the Alpha. Hope you get to try it and have fun. If not, we'll see you in the beta. Peace.